Despite a housing backlog trailing behind major towns and lagging in its provision of water and sewerage reticulation, the Ghanaian region has made significant strides in terms of education infrastructure development at 36 of the 68 schools in the region. During the last financial year, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture allocated over $168 million to the region for the construction and renovation of schools and hostels, as well as for the electrification of schools across the region. And with support from the Environmental Investment Fund, sustainable utilization of the region's natural resources will remain a priority. Climate change poses an acute challenge to livelihoods of our people. This includes Kunene region. A total of seven grants were awarded to Kunene region valued at 29 million. 966,937.26, benefiting 16 communal conservancies and community forests in the Kunene region. Shea further stressed the importance of working in unison to ensure that projects do not become white elephants. By intentionally and deliberately centering our energies on creating harmonized workplace environments, we will unblock delays in the completion of development projects. We dedicate ourselves to breaking the bureaucratic empathy in our institutions when it comes to project implementation. This can only be achieved if we place deliberate attention on the importance of collective actions, creating synergy between various talents and institutions for a greater good of the society. He also noted the role of good road infrastructure, something still lacking, he said, and applauded both Telecom and MTC Namibia for improved ICT facilities within the community and encouraged further investment by both entities in connecting the region's population.